Hey guys and welcome to my ultimate Minecraft combination lock. As I'm sure most of you have guessed, this is made from a combination of a lot of my previous combination locks. So first off, we have got the item frame combination locks that you can see at the beginning here. Then we have got the beacon color combination lock, which I really like this one. Then if we move over a little bit, we have got the lever combination lock. And finally, we move on to the item ones. This one here is the furnace key. And then these two last ones are the card reader slots. Each one of these has got a huge number of possible combinations, meaning this entire system has got an astronomically large number of possible combinations. It would take you many thousands of millions of years to try and crack this thing, and that's why I love it so much. Now let's start the mumbo jumbo maths lesson. I know it's going into the summer holidays now, but let's get those brains in order. So first things first, at the item frame combination lock, you have got a 1 in 8 chance of getting the correct position on each of the item frames, which means using some fairly simple maths, we've got a 1 in 8 chance here, 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 and the same for that thing over there, which means we're just going to do 8 times 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 8, or 8 to the power of 8, which works out at about 16.7 million possible combinations for just this beginning section alone. Moving on to the beacon color combination lock, each one of these color wheels has got 16 possible colors that you can have, meaning that we're going to do 16 to the power of 4 because that's the number of modules that we got to give 65,000 possible combinations for just this section. Then of course we multiply that by the 16.7 million in the beginning to give us an answer of around about 1.1 trillion possible combinations. Next up, we've got the lever combination lock. Now, each one of these levers has two possible states, either on or off, meaning that we're going to do two to the power of nine, because that is the number of levers that we got, which means that we get a fairly small 512 possible combinations for this little section here. But of course, we multiply 512 by the number of possible combinations that we had beforehand, and that gives us a total number of possible combinations so far of 562,949,953,421,312, which is approximately 28 times the number of red blood cells in the human body. Yeah, it's quite a bit so far. But alas, we are not done yet. Next up, we have got the furnace smelter lock, which relies on the player putting in the correct item into this furnace that smelts into the item in the hopper underneath. Now, there are 25 smeltable items in Minecraft, meaning that our running total has got up to around about 14 quadrillion, also known as 14 million billion, which is a really fun word to say. But sadly, that is not all. This is where things begin to get a little bit silly, because these two at the end are the two big ones. Now, I'm going to start off by saying this is an approximation based on information that I found on the internet, but here goes. First off, you've got to get the correct item. Now, apparently, there are 412 stackable items in Minecraft, so already, that's a little bit tough. But as you can see here, these items are actually renamed. Now the anvil has got 30 slots for characters and there are 95 possible characters, meaning that the possible number of combinations for that set of characters right there is 95 to the power of 30. Then we're going to multiply that by 412 and that gives us 8.8 .8 times by 10 to the power of 61. So that is 88 followed by 60 zeros. Already a ridiculous number and that is just for one of these. We're then going to square it, because there's two of them, to get 7.8 times by 10 to the power of 123. Then we're going to times it by the number of possible combinations for the first part, and that ends up with 1.1 times by 10 to the power of 140. That is a decimal number that is 141 characters long. Huge. So there we have it, ladies and gents. I hope that you've enjoyed my ultimate Minecraft security system. You can find all of the mathematics written down in hand down in the description so that you can check it over. I really do hope I haven't made any mistakes, but I'm fairly certain at this point that it is all correct. But anyway, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.